Now, a lot of times when we're starting something new, we think, you know, all I have to do is whatever, this one little thing, X. Then I will be able to get started. And when you want to get paid to cook, that can sound like, you know, I just need some more recipes and then I'll be ready. Or I just want to take one more cooking class. Or, you know what, I just need to figure out my business name and then I'll be ready to start. Even though I've been struggling with it already for like six months. So a lot of these times can really just be delaying us because we're really just a little freaked out, right, about trying something new, something new that might be risky, right? So hey there, Chef Shelly here. I'm a personal chef and I help passionate cooks just like you start your own personal chef business so you can get paid to do what you love too. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit subscribe and be sure to click the little bell so that you never miss one of my weekly videos. So here are three important things that will actually show you if you are ready to get started or not, because none of those three things were actually telling you. So first of all, and of course, the absolute hands down most important thing, if people love your food and you love to cook, if you're thinking that having a personal chef business would be just something that, you know, you can make time doing or it just sounds like it would be easy and you're good enough or whatever, then it's probably not going to be a good fit. And this is not what you're ready to do because like anything, there's going to be some work involved. Now, if people are telling you how awesome your food is and you love to cook and it's your favorite thing to do, hit that little thumbs up so we can see because I bet you're just like me in that. So the second thing that really will tell you that you are ready to get paid to cook as a business and not just at home for fun is that you're able to be organized. Now, I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination that your sock drawer has to be army regulation or anything. But, you know, you need to keep a recipe library. You need to return a phone call on time. You need to be able to make a list and do grocery shopping in a reasonable amount of time. You need to show up at the client's house on time, right? Seriously, this is not rocket surgery. But it's not really something that you can half-ass like I'm going to do making dinner tonight for my family because I have no plan, right? I can get away with that. I can still turn out something good. But if you want to make money cooking, then it's not something that you can just half-ass. Finally, the third thing that will really tell you if you are ready to get paid as a business and not just for fun is if you're confident. Now, I don't mean you don't have doubts or that you're maybe a little bit scared to get started, sure. But in general, you are confident in your cooking and if you know you cook well but you think you're just not ready yet, then you need to do one thing. This one thing and then you'll be ready. No, that's not how it works. Just stop fooling yourself. If people are asking you to cook for them and they love your food, really, what are you waiting for, huh? If you're worried about figuring out all the business stuff or where to get clients and whatever, that's all figure outable. So if you need to prove it to yourself, whether you're truly ready or not, go to the description and download my guide and it walks you through exactly how to do a meal prep service just like you would for a paying client and practice on yourself because I'm sure once you look through that guide, you're going to go, geez, is this really it? I could totally do this because I'm telling you, again, it's not rocket surgery. If you love to cook and people like your food, if you can be organized, and if you're confident in your cooking, 
that means that you are ready to start taking steps to learn it because I'm telling you the clients are out there and they are hungry for what you're cooking.